Jane, how did I get into your room? I, I, I don't know how you got into your room. How did you get into your room? No, I don't know, Shut up, Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. So you just magically flew into your room. It developed wings and flew into your room, Abby. No, no. Stop, please, I'm bringing you. Please, I'm bringing you. I do not take any wife. Stop, please. Shut up! Do you know the most annoying part of everything? When you've been caught right now, you will still be denying it! Hey! Please, please, sir. Please, sir! 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 Please, I can see that this beating does not work for you. We 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 wait. It does not work for you. Babe, henceforth, you eat in this house for one week. Sir. You eat food in my house. Do you hear me? I do not want to. I do not take anything, please. I beg you, please. I beg you, please. I beg you, please. I beg you, please. I do not take anything. Leave me alone. Stop, please. I beg you. Nonsense. You are a bloody thief. Gave me full details about Jane. What do you want? To, what do you want to know? I mean, I need to know everything. I need to know why you asked me to treat her the way I do. What do you want to know about that? I, okay, see, you asked for a house help, yes, and I provided one. Am I wrong for doing that? No, 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 it's fine. Even you, Seth. I don't even know much about you. I mean, we met in the salon, and then we became friends. You don't talk about yourself. What is there to know about me? Wait, you're judging friendship based on how many years you know me. Ah, ah. we are friends. You needed a house. I provided one. If you want a house, boy, I'll still provide the one. Why? Because you're my friend. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. Just let it go. All right. Let's go. All right. And you cannot greet them. Good afternoon. Who asked you to greet me? Did I beg for your greeting? Don't try that rubbish next time. You know the drill, Abby? You know the drill. Yes, ma'am. Abby, don't yes, cut me short when I'm talking. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Yes. Good afternoon. I'm very, very fine. Yes, yes, sir. Everybody's fine. Yes, everybody's very fine. Um, but there is something I want to tell you, sir. And actually, I'm really very fine right now. Is hi, baby. She's she's fine. Of course. I told you. Okay, I'll call you later. <laughs> All eating for some days now because of the instructions my husband gave. Am I right? Y yes, ma'am. I thought about it and it's not fair on you. That's why I brought this food. So just manage and eat it. Thank you so, so much, ma'am, for the food. I really appreciate it. It's fine. I just have a few days to go in this. Uh, I can just stay hungry for the remaining days and, and that's it. I'll eat later. 
I insist. No, I don't want to get into trouble with Uncle. Oh, Jane, sit down and eat this food. Mama, it's just a few days. I've already struggled before. Do you want to have issues with me? Oh. Then sit down and eat this food. Now! we go to bed, she will eat. You don't mean it. As I'm talking to you right now, she's downstairs eating. I'm serious. I just snuck outside you come and see what I'm seeing. Where is she? Where is she? So this is what you've been doing in my house the whole time? You've been eating food the whole time? Because the baby food she used to steal. Shut up, my friend! Shut up. For this thing you've done, you leave it in my house for one week! Do you hear me? Shut up, my If I slap. You're the one that gave me the food and told me to eat. Come on, don't you have sense? What is my business whether you eat or not? But this is not fair. Oh, look at you. You look so beautiful. You haven't changed a bit. Jessica, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. I can't really thank you enough, you know, for letting me stay in your house. I'm grateful. Oh, please. I can't let you lodge in the hotel when there are more than enough rooms in this house. Uh-uh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a friend will I be? <sighs> you look good. <sighs> Uh, you can say that again. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I haven't seen your husband around. Oh, Anthony, uh, he's at work. He'll be back later. Okay. But girl, we have a lot of catch up to do. Oh, I am so mad. I miss you. Ah, ah. I did a job on you. Oh. oh, hello, Anthony. You must be Jessica, right? Oh, beauty. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, wife told me you're spending some time with us. Yes, thank you so much for letting me stay. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh. Thank you much. Hey. I see you two have met already. Yes. yes. There we are. Welcome, babe. Thank you, babe. So yeah, I want you to make yourself at home, feel comfortable, anything you need, we will provide for you. Thank you so much. Oh, this is yours. Of course. Unless you guys oh. catch up, unless you go and freshen up. All right. right I'll join you. <laughs> okay. I'm joining you. I'll see you later. Hopefully your husband. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me stay. 
<laughs> I told you they would let me stay. Don't worry, don't worry. I would deliver as planned. All right. <laughs> it was such a big bite that it can not heal. I didn't know. They were not the They said that the big lips were loaded. So that the girl will not fix her lip. Okay, please. I came to beg you. I'm very hungry and I've not eaten since. Please, give me food no matter how small. I'll manage. Please. Jane, how dare you? How dare you come and interrupt my friend and I? I'm sorry, ma. But please, I've not eaten since. Please, even if it's one spoon or two, I'll, I'll thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll be very grateful. You're hungry? Yes, ma. You want to eat, Abby? Yes, ma. Yes, please. Okay. Go on. Lick it. Ma. You're not better than the dogs that do it. Please, I beg you in the name of God. You won't lick it? Okay, no problem. In that case, go and get a mop and clean this. Jane, I don't want to repeat myself. Get a mop and clean this. Stupid girl, you are hungry. As if I brought you to this house to eat. Babe, as I was saying. Why hasn't she eaten? This girl is just a child. Jesse, please. I want to beg you for one thing. Stay away from anything that concerns that girl in this house. Are you hearing me? Sorry. So what were you saying, I beg? <laughs> hey, Anthony. Hey, Jess. You were working. Yeah, I have this proposal thing that I have to submit ASAP. Oh, do you need help? Nah, I got it. Thank you. Are you sure? Sure. Okay, I'm trying to grab a glass of juice. You want some? Oh, please. Right I'm coming. Thank you. standing here? Not so long. What oh, were okay. you doing? Oh, nothing really. I was trying to stop drink for your uncle and myself. Are you good? Are you trying to poison my uncle? Jesus Christ, why would you even think that? But I saw you putting something in his drink. Why would you even think that? No! Are, are you, are you with, trying with to refuse? With all due respect, Ma, I wouldn't want you to give my uncle that drink. Please, throw it away. <laughs> throw it away. Don't give it to him, please. Excuse you. Are you if you, are you don't ordering me around? Do it. If you don't do it, I'm going to tell him that you try to poison him. Are you good now? Better. But I don't want you to give him any drink. In fact, if you have to give him any drink. I'll be there when you're pouring the drink. Please. Ten. Excuse me. And here is yours. Thank you. <clears throat> you took some time in there. What happened? Oh, the, the glasses were dirty, so I had to wash them. The glasses were dirty? Yeah. So what does Jane do in the house? Anyway, thank you for the juice. It's nothing. Are you sure you don't need my help? No, no, that's nothing serious. Besides, I'm, I'm not even sure you have. A, I don't know if you know anything on.
Hey, can I sit? Yes, you can. Um, listen, Jane. Jane, it's not what you think. It's not what I think. Yes, it's not. I can't even believe you. You're supposed to be her friend. Why are you trying to poison your friend's husband? First of all, Tracy is nobody's friend. Yes. Tracy will only be your friend when she wants to use you clearly. And once she's done, she discards you like nobody. Yes, she lets you stay in this house. Because she wants to rub it off. She wants to show all of us that she got married to a rich man. <laughs> and she's better than us. That's the only reason she let me stay in this house. Listen, I'm not a murderer. I wasn't going to kill him, okay? I only tried to sedate him. S sedate him? Yes. I know your young, innocent mind won't. Need to understand it. But girl, I just... I want you to join me. Come on, let's team up. This woman is not a good person and you know it. I mean, look at how she treats you like a nobody. She doesn't even treat you like human. It's time to make her pay for everything she has done to you. We can team up together, okay? We can work together to make sure she pays for everything she's done to you and every other person. Is that why you're in this house? Is that why you came here? Are you even listening to everything I've been saying, Jane? This is the perfect time for you to pay her back for everything she's done to you. I understand your fear, okay? Nobody is going to harm her. I promise. All we need to do is make sure that Anthony throws her out of this house and then marries me as his new wife. Then you, Anthony and myself will live happily ever after. I can't believe this. You know what? I'm going to pretend like this whole thing never happened. I'm just going to pretend like we never had this conversation. And I'm going to advise that you forget everything about your plan. And don't approach me again. Jane. Please. Leave my room. I beg you. <sighs> okay. I understand you need time to properly process this whole thing. So, um, I'll give you some time, okay? Do you know where to find just, me? Just leave me alone. Please. Don't approach me again for this kind of plan. Don't forget I am doing this for the both of us. Okay? Think about it. Jesus Christ. Good see my soul. My customer fits you. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's alright. Yeah. But you know I'm not wrong. Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you called me. Yes, Jane. I called you. I know a few days ago I said you would get in my house. But I've changed my mind. Your madam begged me on your behalf. So now you can eat. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't thank me. Thank, thank her. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Nah, it's nothing. Can I, can I call it? Sure. Yes, go yeah. ahead. It's for you. For all yours. Just sit here. Enjoy yourself. Come down, the food is all yours. Um, Jane, listen. Nobody hates you in this house, okay? Everything they are doing is for your sake. They are training you ahead of tomorrow. So don't see it like they hate you, they don't. Alright? So calmly enjoy your meal. Thank you. What are you doing? How dare you? How dare you go to my pot? Are you mad? I I gave her the food to eat. You did what? 
I want to give her the food she's eating. Without informing me? I don't understand. I was the one that told her she won't eat food again in my house. Now, I've given her food to eat. What is the problem? The problem is I was not informed. Which one is inform me? I need to inform you to give her food to eat. Anthony. Yes? We are a team in this house. Correct. You don't just wake up and make decisions without involving your wife. I'm the one that brought Jane to this house. Anything involving Jane, I should be informed and involved. Yes. As a matter of fact, you're not eating any... Release this plate. You're not eating anything until I say otherwise. Are you hearing me? Tracy. Don't do that, Tony. Don't do that. You cannot just make decisions without informing me. As from today, any decision in this house, you have to tell me. We are a team. Do you understand that? Team. If I see you anywhere near my port, I will poison you. Sorry, <laughs> she'll give you food, okay? Tracy! Tracy! So, girl, I have been noticing something in this house. What is it? I don't know if I'm in the best place to say it, but it's about your husband. Sama makes all the decisions in this house without even getting you involved. No, that's not true. We make the decisions together. I knew you were going to say that. I mean, he's your husband. But he makes the decisions and then he enforces it on you. Babes, that man doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about your opinion. That's not true. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, no problem. But if you're going to be a little bit, little bit observant, you will know that I'm not lying. That man is just selfish. I don't know. You need this. Thank you. Welcome. Are you okay? Yes, I am. No, you don't look okay to me. Come on, don't tell me it's about what happened earlier. Kai, you guys were too loud. I could hear you from my room. I'm sorry. Come on. You don't have to apologize. I mean, I should be the one apologizing for the way my friend spoke to you. I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything that happened earlier on today. I can't understand her outburst. Um, you know, maybe she was mad at someone and she took it out on you. The women thing. You shouldn't let that bother you. Okay, just cheer That's up. Fine. Thank you. Just know that if you need anyone to talk to, I'm here. Thank you very much, Jess. You're welcome. So, <clears throat> I have to go back to my room. I need to finish up with something. Do you really have to go? I have to. Okay. Let's be good, okay? Take care of yourself. Uh, thank you. Hi. You just don't understand. Auntie Jessica, you called me. Do you have an answer for me now? Look, Auntie Tracy has not been treating me right. Exactly. I'm now you see God. it. I don't have the right to judge anyone or, or pay anyone back for what he or she has done to me. It's God's job and not mine. Are you okay? 
Are you even listening to yourself? So you'd rather take the ill treatment from Tracy than join forces with me and throw her out of this house? Are you even listening to yourself, this girl? I cannot do that. God is the only one who can, who can punish her, <coughs> not me. Oh, wow. Um, Ma, I, I want to ask you for a favor. I you want? want <laughs> Go ahead. I was just saying, if you could lend me your phone for just two minutes. You see how stupid you are? No, you see how stupid? You really think I would do that? Are you mad? You're asking me for a favor. I gave you an opportunity, a golden opportunity to join hands with me. I'm going to ask you this for the very last time. Are you with me or are you against me? And trust me, my dear, you don't want to be against me. That's a very bad place to be. So I'm going to ask you again. Are you with me or are you against me? Just... Are you with me or against me? Get out. I can't. Ha! Ah, ah. I've seen Shige. I've suffered. Also, because I brought myself down to your level to ask you for a favor, you now think you're who? You all of a sudden think you're important. <laughs> Get out of this place. But at least if you could just let me. Your Get phone out phone. of this place. Don't make me repeat myself. Get out. Come back here, come back here, come back here. Come back here, Jane, I'm talking to you. If you ever think of telling Tracy about my plans, <laughs> you better cancel that in your head because she will not believe anything that comes out from a nobody like you. Now walk out. Disappear! I can't even recognize an opportunity when you say one. Hmm. What is going on? Ah, now I know why you don't like that girl one bit. Thank God. That your housemaid is evil. Very, very evil. Okay, what see. You do? I was just coming, you know. So, um, I saw her mixing your baby's food. I asked her to help me get my phone you know, so I can make a call. She dropped the food. You know how I like baby food now. I decided to taste it. Girl, I'm sure it's the same one. Just drink this. See? Jane, so you want to kill my daughter? God forbid, I can never kill. You have been poisoning my daughter no. in my absence. Poison? No. Shut up! No, 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 what? A small girl like you, at your age, you have so much bitterness in your heart. Eh? Jane, how can you put so much salt in a baby's food? Salt? Are you, you know the thing that pisses me off the most? The fact that this girl lies unnecessarily. Do you think I even liked her? How, how did they sleep? Can you put any salt in any... Can, you... can, you, can you imagine? You're lying. Can you just admit to your fault and, and, and apologize? I did not take any food. James, kneel down. <laughs> kneel down first. Yes, then kneel down. Do you want me kneel to ask this? Kneel down. First. I'm talking calmly. <gasps> kneel down this first. Stop or no? Ah. Now, you will just do me a favor and drink this milk. Mm -hmm. You will finish it, all of it. I don't want to see a drop. I mean it. No. <laughs> Give me my drink phone. Drink it. Stupid girl. <coughs> don't, don't try it, though. Don't try it. Are you listening to me? Don't try it. This is what you wanted to feed my baby with. My darling, are you still crying? Auntie, I didn't put that thing. I didn't add anything to that food. I promise oh, I, I didn't. Know. I did not do anything. I know you didn't. Of course you didn't. My dear, Jane. How are you? Come on, relax. Don't be scared, okay? Actually, I have thought long and deep about what you said. And I've come to realize that I'm wrong. Tracy is my friend and even though she has her own flaws, I mean, who doesn't? I shouldn't think such evil of her. So, 
I have decided to back out from my plans. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm so happy that you've changed. Oh, thanks to you. <laughs> You're such a smart kid. Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much for advising me. It's fine. So you said you wanted to make a call on my phone, right? Y yes, Ma, I said so. My phone is in my room, so go get it. Ma, are you serious? I can actually make the Yes, I'm the serious. Call. <gasps> okay, Ma, no, let me... Oh, where are you going with the food? This is Queen's food. I want to... Hey, don't worry. Just strap it. I'll help you. <laughs> Okay. Go get the phone, yeah. Your room. Okay, ma. Under my pillow. Take your time. Have you found it? The salt. Yes, I did. Why did you do that? Why? Are you really asking me that question? <laughs> I don't understand. This. I thought you said you. That I was going to back down on my plans. <laughs> you actually believe that? You know one thing about you, my darling. You are too gullible. And that's exactly why you will always fall into any trap I set for you. I give you a lifetime opportunity, a golden opportunity for you to fight for your freedom. But what did you do? You want to play the good girl card. Mm? <clears throat> so the same woman that treats you like trash, of course I know you are, but then, are you not supposed to be smart? Let me tell you, darling, because of this singular act of yours, I will make sure that you suffer. Read my lips. You will suffer. Auntie Jessica, this is not... This is what? Not right? Of course, I know it's not. <laughs> and that is why I will do everything and anything to make sure they throw you out of this house, back to the gutters where you belong. Silly heard. <laughs> Better start counting your days. Stupid dumb fool. Your poses as a threat to this plan. Yes, I just really need to get rid of her by all means. <laughs> Don't worry, by the time I get rid of her, I'll fall back to the plan. Yeah. Shit! No, 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 no. I have something on the fire. I'll just call you back. Jesus. my house on fire. Someone just left <coughs> an empty pot on the gas. <coughs> that, oh, that must be Jane. Jane. Because I asked her to fix me no juice. Oh, <coughs> is that why she wants to kill us? Jane! Jane! Where's that stupid girl? Jane! Come here. Jane! <coughs> Jane. Look at this stupid girl. So you want to set my house on fire? You want to set my house on fire? <coughs> stupid girl! <coughs> You want to get out of Are you stupid? <coughs> 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 wow. Jan! You want to set this house on fire? Uh. Ooh. Hey, girl. Let this one you're all dressed. Are you going out? Yeah, I want to see a couple of people. How about you? Oh, I have few interviews today. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, let's go together then. That's a great idea. All right. <laughs> you look good though. You too. <laughs> interview. <laughs> Jane, we're heading out. Okay. 
Um, Jane, what? take, take this money, go and buy me airtime. Um, no, no, I'm not sure I can leave you alone in this house. I don't know what you might have plotted against me. I don't want to get into... I am telling you to go and get me airtime and you're telling me you don't know what I've plotted. No, please, let me get the airtime when Auntie Tracy comes back. Ah. At least I, I'm more safe. Please. Oh, 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 we have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we are growing wings. Uh, no, you're taller than me now, so we are rubbing shoulders. Mm -hmm. Will you take this thing before I slap that dirty, stupid thing out of your mouth? Come on, take this thing and, 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 and go and buy me a thing. Take this thing. Get out. There's no disrespect. It's just I'm um, being careful. Go and get me the airtime. Don't make me with myself. Mm -hmm. Get out of this place. Go and buy this airtime. If you like, stay there the whole time. Please don't do anything. You're mad. Oh my God, today drained me. Oh. <sighs> you back, babes. What is wrong? Can you imagine? I came home and my daughter was on the floor, crying. What? Jane was nowhere to be found. <sighs> How? Why? Why would she do that? I don't know. Where is she? I don't know where she is. She's not in this house. Hey. Let her come back. She will meet me here today. Where did she learn this bad character from? Why is this girl? Jane! Ma, welcome back, Ma. Where are you coming from? Um, Ma, I... Auntie Jessica... Auntie, what? Back. You went to buy what for... Auntie Jessica, are you, are you okay? I, I, you, you saw me coming now. It's not me and you that came in together. Which Jessica? Auntie. The one I came in before? Or another one? Ma, I was clean here. Ma, no! I was... Hey, you left my child here and you went out. Well, I'm telling you the truth. I was arranging here. She came and told me to be. Shut up! And she's even calling my name. It's bad enough that you lie already. That one is established. But for you to lie on my friend. On me. Lie against her. I won't take it. No. Jane, I will not take it. If I hear my name in your mouth again, if I hear my name in your mouth, I will resign this to me. Are you mad? Who does that at this time and age? What happened to me buying that time for my bank? Why will I send you to go and buy me anything? Do you are finished. Stop going out. I hate how this girl. Stop going out! Get out! Get out without your stinky smelling mouth! And that is where you will remain for two weeks. Hello, Tendi. Girl, I think you should throw that girl out of this house. Since she intends to hurt my daughter, I have no option than to call the lady that brought her to come and pick her up. Better. Come on, girl, relax. Don't walk yourself out because of a common maid. Hmm. 
<laughs> Come on, of course I know what I'm working at. Before you know it, Anthony will throw Tracy out of the house and I will become Anthony's new wife. <laughs> Hey, babes. You sent for me? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Please sit. Ah, oh, okay. What's up? So, I wanted to tell you that I'm traveling. Oh, okay. So, where are you going to? My mom is really, really sick, so... Oh. I'm going to the village to spend some time with her. I'm so sorry about that. It's fine. I just have one plea, though. Come on, girl. You know you don't have to ask. Just say it. Please, can you take care of my baby? I don't, I don't trust that Jane and Anthony is hardly home. <sighs> you know you don't have to ask too much. Just say it. We're fine. I'm over your child is like my child. So <laughs> you don't have to plead. Thank you so much, babes. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So do you need help with parking? You can see me off. <laughs> oh, you're going already? Yes. Jesus Christ, <laughs> why didn't I see that? <laughs> Let me get you back. Okay, <laughs> right. Yes, who's that? Yes, who's that? It's me. Oh, come in. Uh. Hey, Jess. Hey. So, what are you doing? I'm just... Finishing up this thing. I know to, I want to finish this thing up. So <clears throat> my friend travelled. Oh she did though. My mom is sick and she went to the village to see her. <laughs> oh my I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't tell me you believe that. And why should I not believe her? She's because my wife. It's a lie because she lied. Okay, I'm not supposed to say this, you know, I'm a friend and I'm not supposed to snitch, but your wife is cheating. What? Yes. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but it is what it is. I don't believe you. Of course, you, I know you won't believe me, but why would I lie to you? Why would you tell out your friend so easily? Because she's a terrible person. You know Tracy and I are friends. Okay. I mean, best of friends. I would tell each other everything. Mm -hmm. So she confided in me that she's going to see her boyfriend. As a matter of fact, her mother is not ill and she didn't travel to the village. She went to see her man. After everything I have done for you, why would she do me like this? Because she's a terrible person. I you know you're a good man. She does not deserve you. Come on. Don't I? Ow! It's Tracy! So if I don't deserve him, you do? I thought you travelled. You, you're supposed to... I did. So what are you doing here? Close call I overheard Jessica making. I don't understand. I think she has ulterior motives. Ulterior motives? And what, what would that be? You. Me. Yes, you. I don't understand. She was saying on the phone that she was going to marry you and all of that. I don't believe it right <laughs> now. Marry me. 
How is that possible? You say, think about it. I don't know. Hmm. Babe, are you sure you didn't hear it wrong? I didn't. Ha. Huh. Look, let's just set a trap, okay? Trap? Yes. What do you mean, trap? I'll tell her I'm traveling, and we'll see if she'll make the move first. Babe, I don't understand. That one is risky now. That's the only way we can find out. Ah, babe. Babe, it's risky, you. There's no other way. That's the only way we can find out, for God's sake. Okay. If you say so, what? Let me just... I heard you that day, and I set you up, and you failed woefully. How can you do this to me? Oh, please, shut up. Shut up! With your holier than thou attitude. Look at you. <laughs> Are you a saint or something? Because I don't get it. I have never done anything to hurt you. How would you know? No, how would you know? <laughs> when you're parading yourself as Miss Perfect. I can't even think of it. I mean, with your narcissist attitude, how did you get so lucky? How did you get every good thing of life? How did you even get yourself a man like Anthony? My dream man! You don't deserve him and you know it! And you do? Of course I do because I'm the better one. I am the good person who treats people equally, who treats people nicely. Look at you, even your house help. I mean the main reason you're still alive is because of the same girl you treat like trash. How? Look at yourself. <laughs> You've always made fun of Gift and I and that is why we came up with this plan. To set you up, to throw you out of wait, this wait, house, wait, wait, wait. destroy your marriage and have him marry me. Did you just say Gift? The two of you are my best friends. Why would you people do this to me? <laughs> best friends. Wow, Tracy, look at you, best friends. So this is how you treat your best friends. <coughs> when was the last time you spoke to Gift? When was the last time you spoke to me before I arrived here? With your condescending tone. As if you're better than everybody. I mean, that is why I was making sure. I mean, the plan was for you to live this marriage, for us to destroy this home and get him marry me. And you failed. Get out. This is not over. Get Get out of my house. Why would you do this to me? Calm down, just sit. Why? Just sit, babe. Calm, calm. Why have I done this like this? Baby, calm. Baby, listen to me. Listen to my voice. Listen to my voice. Just sit. Just sit. Babe, babe, babe. I'm here, babe. Babe, calm down. Calm, calm down. Calm down. I'm not doing something. I'm your husband. Just calm down. I'm still here. I didn't need you. Calm down. Let me not catch her again in this down. house! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Again? Oh, babe, you just came back a few weeks ago. I know. Why is it always you that are sending on these trips? Are you the only employee in that company? Babe, I don't know now. You're making it sound like I can question them. I can't question them. When are you leaving? I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. That soon? I'm going to miss you, babe. Me too. Don't cry. I'm gonna come back with you, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't even like leaving you. Just. You know what? I love you, too. I love you, too. Don't worry, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't know you were upstairs. I... That is the more reason you should have knocked. I'm sorry. What did you see? Nothing. Do you know him? No, I don't. Good. Because if I hear a single word, I will kill you myself, Jane. Are you listening? 
I will kill you. Yes, ma'am. Get out of here! You know what, babe? I was thinking, how about I stay here until your husband returns? What do you think? What about Jane? Jane will say nothing. I mean, see how scared she was when you threatened her. Come on, babe. We'll have so much fun. Huh? Come on. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I knew it. Come to Papa. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yes, that's my baby. <laughs> Are you normal? I said you should go and buy me something. You are here speaking unnecessary grammar. Come on, go and buy me the yogurt. Sir, sorry, that's an instruction that my auntie gave me. Look, you had better not get me angry. I said go and buy me that yogurt right now. <laughs> Drop her on the couch. So you know she's a baby. Jane! Drop her and go. Can you just watch her for me? I'll quickly go and buy it and come back. You. You. You had better stay one place. You better not fall. Stop crying. I said stop crying. Just stay one place, huh? Stay one place. I left you for just one second and now look at your face. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop crying, stop it! Take her. So what happened to her? Why are you, are you asking me that? I should be asking you. So I want to go and buy you something. Buy me what? When? Eric, just now. Look! If you do not want me to hurt you, you will do exactly as I say. Do you hear me? No. Do you hear me? Aren't you going to nod? I said okay. Don't. Yes, yes. You keep quiet. You were what? You were what? You were sleeping. So I brought you to this house to sleep. I brought you to this house. By the time I 
I'm done with you today. You will not run. Bring out your hands! Bring out your hands! My wait, my wait! Bring out your hands! What? Get your hands out! No, babe, it's... Bring out your hands! Bring out your hands! What is? What is? It's okay. Oh! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I told you you can um <clears throat> Babe, you're going out. Yes. I'm going out to run some errands for my husband. Oh, um, okay then. Bye. I'll see you later. As I was saying, you know she actually thinks I'm rich. I had to hire a car to make her believe and she fell for it. <laughs> you know what? I also proposed to her that we both leave the country. But somehow that fell through. She got angry when I asked her to divorce her husband. But it's okay, because I have re-strategized and I am back again. <laughs> By the time I am done with her, I am going to milk her so dry and we can be together forever. Yes, baby. <laughs> Tell you something. What is it? It's actually about Uncle Eric. Well, go ahead. What are you say it? I he I, I heard I heard him. I heard him saying that. Talk. Talk now. Hmm? Or can't you talk anymore? Babe, what's going on? Babe, do you know that this girl is a thief? I caught her stealing from my bag. That's not true. Will you shut up that your stupid mouth? I asked her to come report herself to you and she's here trembling like the fool that she is. I did not steal. Yeah. So you're now a thief? You're now stealing, Abby? Kneel down. Kneel down! Yes, babe, deal with her. Kneel down. You're very stupid, though. Eh? This is where you remain until I feel it from my room. Mama, I didn't steal anything. I did not take anything. So you overheard my conversation earlier in the day? No, I... Shut your mouth. <laughs> mm. And you wanted to tell Tracy. You're a fool. You just don't know that you're a fool. So what? You thought Tracy was going to believe you over me? Is that what your little mind told you? <laughs> How about we walk together? Hmm? I've seen how she treats you. And I know that you hate her. It's time for you to put that hate to good use. Queen, we can make lots of money through her. <laughs> you know, we could kidnap Queen and force Tracy to pay millions to get her back. <laughs> No. You can't. 
can hold Quinn. No. I can't do anything to hurt Quinn. A woman treats you the way Tracy treats you and you have the stupid guts to protect her daughter. I will never do anything to hurt Quinn. Never. You are even more foolish than I thought, child. Anyways. I am going to do what I have to do. Let me see how you stop me. <laughs> I won't let you hurt Quinn. You will never hurt Quinn under my watch. We shall see, child. We shall see. Be a good child. Give me alone. <laughs> You have to go. What? You have to go. My husband just called me that he's on his way. Please, you have to Tracy. go right now. I'm not kidding. He's on his way. Please fine, go. Fine, okay, fine. I came back to get something for the office and return back. I'll see you when I come back, okay? Right. Mm. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a check I left there. You know I don't go there. I'm very sure I kept it there. Has anyone come around here since mm -hmm. I was away? What did you say? No, nothing, nobody at all. You, you said you kept it there, right? Pip, I'm very certain I kept that check there and I need it, it's really important. <sighs> Jane. What has Jane and the check have in common? I don't understand. It's the two of us that have been in this house since. If I didn't take it then, she must have taken it. What is a girl her age doing with Eric, what have you done? Oh, here we go. Just peek, 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 peek. Hey! Let me see what is happening first. Hey! Where's my money? Sir. Where's my money? Your money, I didn't take your money. See, I'm not in the mood for your lies. Where is my money? I didn't take your money. Jane, time up. Bring out that check. 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 Yes! I, I swear to God that we kill you if you don't give my check. Don't make me descend on you. I don't you think I don't see that day? That day you were sneaking out of the room and when I asked you why you were sneaking out, you said you want to wake the baby. Oh yeah? I can't even Bring remember that that's check. happening. I can't even remember when Bring I... Out that check. I don't know. I don't know. I did not take any check. Oh, listen. Listen to me and listen to me real good. I will go back to the office. I will make excuses for that check. When I come back home, 
I want to see that check on my bed. If I don't find that check on my bed when I come back, eh? What I will do to you? I don't do, I didn't take any check from me. I don't know why you're playing accusations on me. Me? I'll be back. I did not take any check. I didn't even know that he had a check. I don't know. I don't know anything. Eric, Eric, please, I'm begging you in God's name, please return that check. I know you have it, please. You should be grateful what I took was just the five million. What are you saying? You don't really think I love you, did you? But you, but you said... I know exactly what I said, Tracy. I only said that to make you believe me. Oh. What? You thought I was actually deported from the state? Come on. Come on. I saw you at the supermarket and you're from the people who frustrated me. So, I needed to get into your life so I could talk to you. You mean you were, you've been lying to me? And nobody framed you? Listen. Will you even cash the check? I already did it to get us check. Eric, please. That check is not for me, it's for my husband. What am I going to tell him? Please, Eric, please don't do this to me. Eric, please wait. Eric! Shit! admit to Anthony that you took that check. But, but I didn't take it. I didn't know. As a matter of fact, I don't even know that he had a check in this house. Listen to me. Even if you tell him from now till next year, you and I know he's not going to believe you. But if you admit that you took the check, that phone call you've been trying to make, I'll give you my phone and you'll make it. You will only use your phone make the phone call. Yes, I'm serious. You promise? I promise. Why did you take any check? I, I know what Uncle Anthony is going to do to me if I admit it. You just have to take the game. So <sighs> Sorry, I... <laughs> I lied to you. I stole the check. That is all the information. What I want to know is, where is the check? Sorry. In fact, you know what? Don't tell me. Go to where that check is, bring it out, and give it back to me. I don't have it anymore. What do you mean you don't have it anymore? I misplaced, I misplaced it when I was going to the bank to, to get the money. Wait, wait. You went to the bank. You mean to tell me you left this house and you went to the bank? I misplaced it. Where was my wife when you went to the bank? She... She what? She sent me on an errand, so I used that opportunity to go, to go to the bank, but I'll get into the bank, I... I 
found out that I was not with the chick. But that the chick has fallen up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you mean to tell me right now? Is that my five million naira has vanished? How long are you to answer me? It's, uh, I'm sorry. Don't tell me that nonsense! You're sorry for what? Babe, who brought this girl to this house? If I find that woman, she and her family will spend the entire time in, in jail. Babe, until this girl finds my money, she leaves my house immediately. <laughs> she will not eat food or drink anything in my house. I don't know where else to go again. Get out of my house now. I don't know. Get out! <laughs> don't, don't let me clean my hand, though. Get out of my house! I said, get out. Get out! Leave! <laughs> Come on, leave me alone. Babe, remember, that lady that brought this thief. Mm. Call her. She'll come back and take her. I can't leave the house with the thief. No, sir, please, 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 I asked you to tell him that you gave the check to Kanu and he was supposed to cash it out, come and pick you and run away, but you never heard from him. You didn't say it. I can't say that. <laughs> but Kanu has been nothing but nice to me. I cannot lie against him. Yeah, you're lost then. Well, can I at least have the phone to make the call now that everything is done? Uh, are you really that dumb? You thought I was going to give you the phone to make whatever useless call you wanted to make? But you promised me. You, you told me that as soon as I lie, you would give me the phone. You said it in my room. Oh, sweetheart. Promises are meant to be broken. Okay? Don't touch me. The call wouldn't take just, just one minute. <laughs> Yes, I am on my way. Mm -hmm. I'm coming now. What happened though? I was thinking maybe you should just take her home with you or send her back to her parents. I would just tell Anthony that she ran away or something. I'd rather she stay here. Anthony could kill her. Then let, her, let him do it. What is he waiting for? Look, just tell Anthony that um, you tried calling me and then I'm not picking your calls and um, all the plans to get to me has seen my body. Very simple. Hmm? Right. Right. It's very, don't even stress yourself. That you, that all the people that you know, and there is no one that you know that is connected to me, so that you, you weren't able to get in contact with me. You've tried and tried and then my number is just not, it doesn't have my number, does it? You know. Look, please, just tell him. No, don't be stressed out. Why are you stressed out? You look like you're stressed out. Hmm? Yes, I need to go. Is that why you even called me? Ah, it's very simple. Tell me this to you. Oh, okay. you oh, thank you. Please just take me home. Please. Uh... What are you thinking about? Running away? The 
moment you cross that gate, let me tell you what is going to happen. And it's one out of these two. It's either you become food for animals or money for ritualists. Which do you want? Pick. Go on. Go ahead. You can leave. I'm not holding you. I thought as much. <laughs> Are you mad? What's that for? I, I'm talking. Are you so, is that not the soft skin you're touching? I'm sorry, ma. Ma, your phone is ringing. You must be stupid to think that I'm not hearing that. Sorry, ma. Who is that? It's Olga. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. He, he's back in the court. No, so I'm sorry. Um, which hospital? Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming right now. Madam! <laughs> Everything is all right, though. So what do we do now? We wait until I'm able to reach her. I hope it's fast enough. Because I don't care what they have to do. They must provide that money for me. I took out of my savings to pay back the, the company. Until then, she was not eating my house. Did you hear me? Yes, babe. Nonsense. You said you don't remember anything. No. Anyone? You said you, you're my wife. Yes, baby. So, do we have any kids? No, baby, not yet. <laughs> So, um, what kind of a man was I? Baby, you were a very good man. Was I? You took, you took care of kids. You paid their school fees. Baby, maybe you were a philanthropist. Hmm? Just, um, just rest. Welcome home. Daddy! Daddy! Daddy, I miss you so much. Daddy! Daddy! Who are you? My, my, my name, I'm, I'm, I'm your daughter, Dad. I'm Jane. J Jane? Honey, yeah. who is this? Oh, baby, you remember I said you do help this little kids in the village and stuff like that. Pay for their school fees. She's one of them. She's That's just... a lie! Why are you lying? I'm your daughter, I'm Jane, Onye. Why, why would you be lying to him? Dad! Please, will you stop calling me dad? That's making me uncomfortable hearing that from you. What? What am your daughter and you're my, 
You were done. Jane, you heard him. Stop calling him dad. You're stressing him out. What have you done to my father? Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Little girl, don't you have respect? How dare you hold my wife like that? Huh? Dad. Look, I've already told you to stop calling me that, okay? Babe, yeah. please call the security. I want her out of here. I will, baby. I will, what, baby. What nonsense. Daddy, it's me. You talk, go rest, baby. I'm your first daughter. Please, go rest. Please. What did you do to my father? Well, apparently he had an accident and he forgot about everything. He lost his memory. What? He forgot about everything and everyone. Especially you. Is that why you had to lie to him? Is that why you had to tell him that, that I'm not his child, that he was training me in the school? Precisely. Why are you doing this, Auntie Claudia? Why? My mom, when she was alive, she was kind to you. She did everything for you. She treated you like you were her sister. But now you're doing this to me. Oh. Now, Jane, I need you to get my name off your mouth. I am not your mother's sister. Whatever kindness she showed to me, I don't care. She's dead, as you should be. Why did you bring me here? Huh? Why did you bring me here? It's very simple. I just wanted you to know that you're a nobody. You will live the rest of your life as a house help. You owe nothing, you mean nothing to him. And that is exactly what I want. Now leave my house. No, leave in this house. In fact, this is my house. This is my father's house. Oh. Oh, stay here until he, he remembers me. Oh. Did you not hear your father? He said, call the security and throw her out. Leave. I do! I don't want you! Yeah, you do out. <laughs> oh, baby! Let's go like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Did you get anything? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Honey, are you not done yet? I'm coming, I'm coming. Please hurry up. How do I look? Dad, how do I look? Baby, Abu Bay. I'm sorry, what did you say? Are you okay? I... I saw her. You saw who? The little girl that was here the other day. She, she called me dad. Uh, come, baby. Come. I... Shh. It's okay. Sit down. Come. Are you... No, no, baby. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Baby, see. The doctor said that sometimes you will get conflicting memories. Okay? With enough rest, you should be able to get back to yourself. Okay? Are you sure she's not my child? Baby, baby, come, look at me. She's a nobody. Trust me. Okay? Hmm? Smile. Hmm? Jane. You're leaving my house today. Yes. Sam, please, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't care! I can't live with a thief. He Hello, who are you? Are, are you even eating? What, what's wrong? Oh, so you are the father to this thief? You are the father of a thief? A criminal? Hey, 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 hey. You better watch the way you call my child in my presence, okay? Oga, whether it's your child or not, I do not care. All I care for is that she pays me my five million naira. Oga, I'm talking to you my five million naira, Joe. You mean my five million naira? What do you mean your five million naira? So you don't even know who owns the company you work for? I am Mr. Ibubi. Yes. The owner of the company you work for. The owner of this house and all the cars you flaunt around town. Sir? Check. Take a look at my card. Okay. This is my girl. Sir. Sir, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Look. Sir. Oga. Oh, you're begging? Sir, please. So you treat people anyhow because you don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. So because you didn't know who she was, you treated her like a slave, right? Mm -hmm. Look, you should, you should thank your God. You are very lucky that I'm a God-fearing man. Yes, like you, your wife, and my wife Claudia will be languishing in jail. Look, look, I give you until tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. You should pack. Why should, why, why should you pack anything? I own everything you have. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., you should leave my house, leave my properties. I don't want to see you again. Ah, sir, Do I make myself clear? Sir, please, sir. Sir, please. Look, sir. Sir, Abigail, let, let, let's go. Sir, please, tamper justice is messy. Jane, please. Jane, please. Hey. Sir? Sir? Sir, please. Sir? Yes, we can talk now. But all that I need. Exactly, we need to move before he regains his memory. I'm, I'm scared he will soon do that. Then while you're at it, find out everything he's worth. And when you do that, I want all his properties bequeathed to me. Everything. Not a dime left to his name. I don't need to remind you how important this is to me. Thank you. I'll get across to you myself. Don't call me. All right. Detective, I hear you're good at your job. I'm doing my best. I want you to investigate my past life. Your past life? Yes, I... I was in an accident, and I can't remember anything about me, who I was, what I used to do, and I, 
can't also believe anything the woman who says she's my wife is saying. Okay, sir. I want you to investigate anything that you can find about me and get back to me. Um, look, money is not my problem. I am ready to pay anything, anything that you want. Consider it done, sir. So I'll be waiting to hear back from you in a few days. No problem. It's fine. What are you doing here? I sucked you! What are you doing here? I asked her to stay. Why? I'll answer your question when you answer mine. Why did you fire her? Because she was ineffective. Oh, I get back into the country and all of a sudden she becomes ineffective. Do you have something you want to say to me? I don't know. Are you guilty of something? No. Claudia, I'll advise you to choose your next words very seriously. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Like I said, do you have something to say to me? Fine. I'll say it. After I overheard you on the phone, last night um you you heard you heard me yes i did oh so i employed a personal detective i asked him to find out about my past life before i lost him then he stumbled on kosi imagine the things she had to say so when i traveled out of this country you took my daughter out of this house and made her a slave somewhere else. And while I was away, you made sure no one was able to contact me so I would be in the dark. And even when I got back into the country, you fired Kosi so I wouldn't know the truth about my own child. And even when I asked you, you lied, you lied to my face. You told me I don't have any child. Claudia, why? Why would you do such a thing? Why would you do that to me? That child mistreated me and you stood by and did nothing! She was just a... She was just a child. A child who thought that her father was trying to replace her mom with another woman. I begged you. I asked you to consider. I told you that she would come around. Come around? She would come around? Five years of my marriage! She would come around. I had to wait and pamper her and make her feel good about herself while I suffer in pain. You, she would come around when? That girl did everything she did to me and I endured, waited patiently. The minute you stepped foot out of this country, I got my pound of flesh. Got your pound of flesh? Yes. You took your revenge on a child, a little girl. Thought I loved you. And I loved you too. But what that child did to me, I can never forgive. You know what? I'm going to take my daughter to the hospital for a proper medical checkup. And for your sake, you should pray to your God that nothing is wrong with her. Pray to your God that my daughter is hearty and healthy. Because if she's not, trust me, you're not ready for what I'm going to do to you. Look, when I get back, I don't want to see your foot in my house. But wait, this is my matrimonial home. I go nowhere. Try me. <laughs> Try me and you spend the rest of your life in jail. Everybody, I you invested so much in this marriage. Everybody. Kosi. Sir? Make sure she doesn't leave this house with a single pain. Yes, sir. Nonsense. Everybody. You heard him. Start going. Did you not hear what he said? Start going. Are you talking to me? You still have mouth. You still have mouth. Now get out. You are done being madam of this house. Leave. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, 
things she still, she still the madam in this house. Come on, come back and be the madam. Let me see. <sighs> like, daddy, that school is amazing. Yeah, really, you like but it? I've never had that kind of experience before. The way they, they, they were very welcoming, they were mm -hmm. warm. The teachers, you know, some schools I've heard of. The schools, whenever the teachers are teaching and you don't understand, they start shouting at you. But if you say you don't understand, the teacher would be Jane. willing to. A Hey, Kukano. Hey, Kukano. How are you? I'm very fine, sir. So, how have you been? I'm fine. I'm oh fine. I'm fine. Oh my god. I'm fine. Um, Who is he? Um, oh, Daddy. Yeah. This is Uncle Kano. He, he used to work for Uncle Anthony. Oh. Yes, Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. This I'm is my, my dad. What? Yes, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Both of you have a lot to talk about. Uh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You're How are looking you been? good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Where have you been? I've been around. Where did you go to? Um, I don't know. I was, I was looking for greener pasture. Oh, really? Um, my daughter tells me you're a graduate. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, what about you? Occupy any position in my company. Yes. Uh, okay. ah, that, that, that would be great. Thank you, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Right? Um, the position formerly occupied by Anthony is now vacant. So I think you can take that with his house and the car if, if you want. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Then it's settled. The job is yours. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It's okay. Thank it's you, okay. sir. Sit thank up. you. Sit up. Sit up. Jane. Congratulations. Uncle thank Sarah. you. Thank you. <laughs> I think this should be a lesson to everyone out there that it pays to be good, right? And I know in my heart that you're going to do a good job. I will, sir. I promise. <laughs> it's okay. Um, cheers to. <laughs> So new beginnings. Yeah, cheers <laughs> to new beginnings. Wow. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Thank you.